Hey, what is up internet? Welcome back to the channel. So how are you all doing? I know I have not been very active on YouTube and that's because Yeah, never mind. I'll try to be a little more active on YouTube. So what do we have today? We have the Soundco Liberty 2s. So I've heard a lot about the Liberty 2 series from Soundco in a lot of videos from outside India. So as soon as these launched in India through Flipkart, I bought them. Now these are priced at about rupees. 7000 and you can buy them from Flipkart. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So what's good about these earphones? What's bad about these earphones? How is the sound? How do these fare against the competition? Let's talk about all that in this video. Now in terms of the design, the Soundco Liberty 2s are identical to their big brother which is the Liberty 2 Pros. The only difference being that you get a glossy finish milta hai on the outside of the earbud while on the Liberty 2 Pros you get the matte finish. Now of course I would prefer the matte finish any day but I can take this for the price they come at here in India. Now these come with a classic pill shaped design with angular ear tips and a wing tip as well for that firm grip inside your ears. And if the one that comes out of the box don't fit you well, don't worry because anchor ने बहुत सारे ऑप्शंस दिए इनसाइड डी बॉक्स ऑफ बोथ ईयर टिप्स एंड विंग टिप्स, सो आई एम प्रीटी शॉर दे विल फिट यू वेल वंस यू फाइंड डी परफेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन, बट एंड दिस इज अ वेरी पर्सनल बट, सो इट माइट नॉट अप्लाई टू यू I couldn't wear these earphones for more than 60 मिनट्स, या इन अ गो, बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट शॉर इफ इ these were not that comfortable and I don't like that when it comes to true wireless earphones. I did try all the possible combinations that you get inside the box when it comes to ear tips and wing tips and still my ears would fatigue sooner than I would expect while using a true wireless earphone. I hope it's not for you because they actually fit in really well and they also come with IPX5 water and sweat proof so you can take this out for gym or a run if you are allowed to do so right now but yeah don't take these to swimming because they are not meant for that and also i think overall in the comfort department i would rate them about 6.5 out of 10 but don't get me wrong i really like the design it's just the comfort that really pinned me so if you're wearing this for long hours it might be a pain in your ass along with your ears sorry bad joke now the Soundco Liberty 2 also comes with this case for charging of course and it's very interesting because instead of opening up the lid the conventional way these conveniently slide on the side and that's I think very intuitive of Anchor to use this design for the case but still I think the case is a little too glossy for my liking and it does not give you a premium look if you're spending 7000 on a true wireless earphone I would again prefer the one that comes with the Liberty 2 Pros which has a matte finish but still it's very pocketable and you get 500 mAh of battery inside and Anchor claims that, that you can charge the Liberty 2s fully three times from this case. The earphones themselves can offer you eight hours of playtime if you play it at 60% volume. And during my testing, I would say that the numbers here are pretty accurate. They also come with USB Type-C fast charging. So Anchor again claims that 10 minutes of charge can give you two hours of playtime, which is again points added for the case as well as earphones. One thing to note here is that they don't support wireless charging the case. And I think if this feature was this price, that would have really been a game changer. But overall, in the battery life and the case department, I would rate these earphones again a solid 8 out of 10. Now out of the box, the Liberty 2s come with Bluetooth 5.0 and Aptex technology for no latency. And in terms of connectivity overall, I didn't face any issues at all. These earphones will connect with your old phone or any other device very easily and very conveniently. Uh, I really had any network drops. And these also give you a solid 10 to 15 meter Bluetooth range. Now the right one here is the master and the left one is the slave. But you can also use these earphones independently while the other one is charged in the case so again that's a good feature to have on true wireless earphones what's still not there is multi-device connectivity and i know 
it's too much to ask for from a two wireless earphones at this price but i really wish this feature should now be a norm in all the two wireless earphones now if you're buying the sound core liberty 2s for gaming uh, I can tell you that there is zero to no latency even while playing games like PUBG. So if you're into gaming and if you're looking for a true wireless earphones, this will be an ideal pair for you. Now, one of the reasons I actually went for the Liberty 2s the very first time I saw it was the physical multifunctional button instead of the touch controls. Yes, I am not a big fan of touch controls on true wireless earphones because first of all, they are very gimmicky and they are not implemented in well enough if the earphones don't recognize the fit. Now, out of the box, this multifunctional physical button will give you only limited controls like you can play and pause music taken and calls you can go to the next track or previous track or you can trigger the voice assistant but what's interesting here is that anchor also gives you an access to its sound code app that will then allow you to customize what this button does for you now you have to trade off between the voice assistant or volume or any two controls but overall i think this is a really nice feature to have uh, and also let's talk about uh, the sound code app here is that because it really makes a huge difference when it comes to sound quality now apart from having some presets equalizer settings you also get a customized eq so you can customize the bass and treble and everything else according to your liking and there's also something called hair id now what hair id does is it tests your listening frequencies from each of your ears and then it tries to enhance the sound quality as per your profile. Now, I'm not sure how well this is implemented because it's usually seen in the hearing aid industry. But during my testing, I didn't feel a lot of difference in the sound quality, honestly. So I'm not sure if this is something you should be excited about while buying these earphones. Okay, okay, I hear you. You're like, Nirupam, when are you going to talk about the sound of these earphones? Well, let's talk about the sound. Now out of the box, the Liberty 2s come with diamond coated 10 millimeter drivers and this actually makes a big difference in the sound signature because usually true wireless earphones may we get around 5 to 6 millimeter drivers. Now what is the effect of these drivers on the sound? Well, the sound signature is not balanced but it's definitely V-shaped. So you'll get deep and punchy bass while not compromising on crisp and clear trebles. Now what this means is the bass is not boosted so it's not overpowering the other layers of music which is mids and trebles and same goes with the other layers of music as well. What I mean to say is that where there is bass you'll hear deep and punchy bass and where there is not you'll not hear it a lot. Now in terms of sound stage it is very dynamic and given it has 10 millimeter drivers the instrument separation is again really really good. Now overall I think the sound is very full so because it has such big drivers you'll see that you'll feel that the sound is coming from a big source instead of a very small source which is the case with most of the true wireless earphones. Now in terms of comparison I would say these actually sound very similar to the Sony WH-1000MX3 I'm not sure if I said the model name correct but I'll just put up a picture here to know because I used those earphones for a couple of hours and I still remember they blew my mind and so did these. Now one thing to note here is that there is a notable hiss or white noise as some people call it while the music is not playing. So whenever you pause the music, uh, it, it will be there for a couple of seconds. And in most cases, the music will overpower it. But if you listen to a lot of podcasts at low volume, the hiss is definitely there. Now another issue I faced with these earphones was while updating the firmware. So I looked up on the internet and see if anyone else is facing the issue and it turns out this is an issue with all the Liberty 2 series earphones so the Liberty 2s, Liberty 2 Air 2s and Liberty 2 Pros as well and Anchor is providing replacements in some regions I'm not sure if they are doing so in India as well because this is an issue with the earphones itself and not some software so that's that. Now for the microphone quality Anchor has given four microphones two on the each earbud but for some reason only the microphone from the right earbud works while you're on calls and the microphone 
on the left earbud does not work. However, if you use the left earbud only and the right one is charging in the case or is disconnected from the phone, then the microphone from the left earbud works. But they still make a decent seal in your ear so you can easily hear what the other person is saying on the other side of the call, both indoors and outdoors. And the microphone quality overall, in my opinion, is decent, if not the best. Now, let's get to the bottom line. Should you go ahead and buy the Soundco Liberty 2s for Rs. 7000 here in India? Well, honestly, I have to tell you, I bought these earphones for mainly three reasons. Sound quality, the physical button control and the USB Type-C charging. And they do outperform my expectations in all those departments. But where they do fail is the comfort level. Now, if I have to give you a verdict, the Soundco Liberty 2 might be the best sounding earphones that will not be comfortable for all of you out there. So if they fit you well and if they're comfortable enough for you, these are a no-brainer choice for me. And also they do really well in gaming as well. They can easily beat competition like the Noise Shorts XY Pro that were recently launched and also the Jay's M7 that are similarly priced at Rs. 7000. They come really, really close to the RHA True Connect as well, although I haven't tested them personally. So yes, guys, this was a quick video on the Liberty 2s. Let me know in the comment section below how did you find this video and make sure you hit that like button if you did and make sure you drop a dislike if you did. And let me know, also know if you would go ahead and buy these for yourself. I will be very curious to know and make sure you drop in your questions. I will try to answer them all in the comment section below. So before you go, don't forget to subscribe subscribe to TikiNet because I am planning to be a little more active now on YouTube and especially hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on my future videos as well. So till then, keep asking and I'll see you in the next one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I bopped. Ah. Jhoot bola kya? Cheek aagai.